Cooperating with Nature. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 267. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 267, May 6th, 2018 edition. Today, what I'd like to talk about is cooperating with nature, because it seems to make a lot of sense that humanity start cooperating with nature instead of destroying nature, because we really only have one planet this one shared planet that we're all living on. And so one community is creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And one component of highest good living that we think is essential is cooperating with nature instead of destroying nature. It's giving more than we take from the planet, from each other, from society. And so to facilitate that process, we have designed what we call an evolution of sustainability, which takes the physical foundation of the sustainability, which are all about cooperating with nature. And that would be food, energy, and housing. Sustainable food, sustainable energy, sustainable housing. And we're combining those with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as highest good education models, highest good economic models, fulfilled living models, and truer stewardship, which, of course, is also about cooperating with and stewarding nature. And our idea is if we can make these easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate them as attractive enough, then the idea will spread its own. And the ultimate expression of this idea is teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs designed to be built anywhere in the world to teach others how to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs as well. And so everything that you see happening in the background of the video while I'm talking is are examples of the teacher demonstration hubs that we've designed. And these models are designed to have a small footprint to be completely sustainable as far as the food aspects, the energy aspects, the housing aspects, all those things put together to be completely sustainable and to provide for all aspects of a person's life so that they can live arguably better than the way that most people, especially in undeveloped countries, but even better than most people in a developed country like the United States are living right now. And like I said, if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate the idea is attractive enough, the living experience is attractive enough by inviting people to come and visit one community, experience everything that is we're doing, and then open sourcing and free sharing it so it can be replicated and modified and adapted and evolved and improved based on individual ideas. If we can make that easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough, then the idea will spread it on its own, and we can, for arguably the first time in relevant recent history uh, be living sustainably as a species. Like we can create a sustainable world for the benefit of everyone and all life here, cooperating with nature and finally stewarding this planet as a species in a way that we're capable of, in a way that only we are capable of. And if not us, then who? Because the way that we're living right now is does not have a positive conclusion. It is by definition unsustainable. And if it's unsustainable, it will come to an end. And so if we are to meet the needs of a growing population and to regenerate and rejuvenate this planet before it's too late, now would be the time to do that. And so one community feels that there is no more noble goal, no more worthwhile venture than to create these teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs because we want to live that way. And we'd like to show others why they might want to live that way as well. And so we're inviting everyone to participate that is interested in. And we are an all volunteer, 100% unpaid, nonprofit organization creating all of this for, as I said before, the highest good of all life on this planet. Because we know that if we can create a self replicating model like this, and if you run the numbers, starting with just a group of 50 people building one community, if that group and one community, what we're building, can inspire two additional groups to start the next year. And if us and those two additional groups and what it is that we're creating is inspirational enough to inspire four additional groups the year after that, and then eight groups after that, and then 16 and 32 and 64 and so forth, then within 30 years, we can positively impact the lives of every single person on this planet, whether or not they're participating. But we can reach out and create something where everybody who wants to participate can. And this can completely reinvent the way that people look at life. It can create a culture of cooperating with nature cooperating with our planet, 
using our resources intelligently and sustainably for the benefit of all life here. First and foremost, of course, humanity, but all life, because that benefits all of us, truly stewarding this planet for the benefit of everyone and everything. This is what One Community is all about. This is our idea for cooperating with nature. And with all that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal. Check it out. The One Community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued working on the Murphy bed storage area in 3D. What you see shown here are the most recent test redesigns for this area. The core team, working with Michael Hagler, senior graphic designer and artist, also completed another round of editing and testing different layout options shown here for the compressed earth block village parts of the seven villages book we're developing. We'd say we're now 95% complete with this layout's updates and edits. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, completed his sixth week leading the development of the Murphy Bed instructions. This week, Shadi added a new parts page, one more assembly page, and further evolved the standardization and formatting of all the pages. You can see these here as version 3.3 of these designs. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued with the Cobb Village Pod 3 render updates. Here is update 112 of Dean's work. This week, Dean continued with his second week working on the textures and lighting for this new dining hall view from the second floor. Dan Ellick, designer and illustrator, completed his 20th week working on the compressed earthblock village render editions. This week, he finished adding people and other details to this render of one of the offices in this village. The render is now updated on the website also. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team, working with Dipti Dondarkar, electrical engineer, continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 73rd week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was testing lighting and creating and adding to the website this comparison of the different table lamp fixture types that meet our LEED sustainability criteria. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering by finishing his review and additions to the new beam calculation and testing spreadsheets we've created. You can see this updated and checked work here. Yoon Lin, bridge design engineer, also completed his fifth week helping with the beam design and calculation spreadsheet creation for the city center structural engineering. This week, he started creating the SON timber design spreadsheet shown here. He also back-checked and provided replies to Hayes' comments and additions. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, completed his 19th week helping with the HVAC designs for the Duplicle City Center. This week's focus was electric boiler quantity and size research and considerations, positioning and sizing of mini splits, and adding column descriptions and additional data to the HVAC tab of the zonal spreadsheet. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, completed her fourth week helping with the Duplicle City Center materials and costs. This week's focus was working on the interior, carpentry, and furniture summary sheets and amending various other material quantities as well. You can see some of this work here. Last but not least, Dawa Feng, civil engineer, joined the team and completed his first week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designed for the city center. This week, he reviewed all previous work done on these designs, updated calculations where needed, added two more fire zones, and integrated those two new zones and their information into the calculation processes. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued working on the garden tools list by researching and adding the Kubota attachments you can see here. The core team also continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and detailed food rollout plan for the second landing party group of 20 people. The focus this past week was further researching and developing the initial composting and elevation and climate appropriate food growing strategies you see here. 
One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team finished the editing, image, and content creation for the assessment forms page. You can see some of this last week's work here, and the page is now about 100% complete, except for creation of the assessment form templates. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the Highest Good software team consisting of Samya Manahar, Shubur Mittal, and Swati Jayasilan continued their work on the software. This week, they fixed issues with refreshing, inactive users, date stamps, and how the software defines the work week when running reports. They also added a navigation bar to the time log for easy viewing of work weeks, auto close function for time entry, auto update when adding time entries, new notification styling, a custom time range function so that reports can be generated for any given period of time, and new four weeks and six weeks time range functions for reports. Well, there you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of creating replicable models designed for cooperating with nature. They integrate permaculture, they integrate sustainable housing, they integrate sustainable energy, as well as all the other different aspects of our pro project, the fulfilled living models, the highest good economic models, the highest good education models, and the truer stewardship, putting it all together to create everything that you see that we've been working on now for almost, well, seven and a half years, coming up on eight years. If this is interesting, if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything that I've discussed, visit our written blog, visit our website. There's so much information there. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible, which includes Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, uh, Pinterest, Instagram, and about 15 other social media networks. Uh, whichever one you're on, we're probably there to Google us and you will find us. And uh, if you'd like the easiest way to help out, we'll visit our helping page. But the easiest way is just liking our, our information, putting a like on this YouTube channel, on our YouTube video rather, and uh, or sharing our information through social media. Help us get the word out. That's the easiest way to help out. But our helping page has lots of different options as well. And if you're somebody just for watching to the end, thank you for that. If you send us uh, an email or if you've donated to our nonprofit organization, we really appreciate that. Thank you for that. Thanks for watching to the end. And of course, until next week, we will. Keep on, keep it on.